All right, guys, so first things first, this back here is my niece's vanity. I got her own little makeup stand, and it's in my makeup room because I'm the best aunt ever. And now, let's get started into how to make your own um, DIY brush holder, brush stand, brush dryer. I don't know what you guys really want to call it, uh, but yeah. So, what you're going to need is so this. It is a foam block right yeah all right so it just says foam block so i'm gonna guess it's some type of styrofoam but you can get them at walmart you can get them at um, you can get them at walmart you can get them at your joann's you can get them wherever but you want them to be the hard not the styrofoam that has like the little balls in it you want them to be the hard kind uh, that you use for like flowers and things like that if you get the styrofoam that has the balls, it's like made out of little tiny like balls, I guess it looks like. I don't know. It will not work for this. This holds your brushes perfect. And then you're going to need something like a stand to set it on. This is from my old one. If you guys watched my how to clean how I clean my brushes, you see my old one in it and it's actually sitting back here. It's falling apart. And I needed to make a new one. Um, I just use a wine glass. You want it to be um, taller then your tallest brush so your brushes aren't hitting the ground and then this will kind of just sit on top like that and then this is optional you don't need this oh you do need a hot glue gun you will need that this is optional however um just kind of a cloth to put over it this one is just the cutest thing i could find at walmart and i didn't feel like looking at looking for any other one you know measure to find the middle so then 18 9 12, so the nine here and then six inches down. Yeah, you can do this some other fan dancy way if you want. However, I'm just gonna, I'm not really too picky for this part. Inside the wine glass, I have just kind of the styrofoam that it came in just so it's not clear and plain and gross looking. All right, awesome. So I just kind of put a little hole where, around about where the middle is, and I'm gonna take my wine glass upside down on this. Can you see what I'm talking about? Let me scoot back. I'm just gonna take my wine glass upside down and just kind of turn it. And I just kind of keep turning it until, see if, it just kind of makes a hole and it'll kind of just go right down in it and you can go as far down as you want and you can make this look as fan dancy as you want let's see if i can all right so now that i have the hole i don't know if you guys will be able to tell okay yeah you can see how it kind of created this little ring so this is what you want and it'll it'll how do i say how do i explain this it creates this little ring and you just kind of want to wiggle your glass to get it back out or else it'll tear that ring out and you want to make sure you can put the glue down in the middle and then this ring will kind of hold it secure in there. So that is what we want right there. And then just taking our hot glue gun, we're going to put hot glue in the middle of that ring. And I would say have a couple, I mean, depending on how low your hot glue gun glue is, mine's pretty well, I'm going to need another one. And you can even put some on top of the little ring too, just to make sure it holds it nice and secure. dude back in the back he just fell over I don't really care and then just slide your glass back down in and just kind of hold it firmly for a couple minutes a couple seconds really or really if we're being honest here so I have just all the names of all my makeup brushes over here that I can put with my makeup brushes all right, now you can do this really however you want. Whatever your little heart desires, you can do like eye brushes on one side, face brushes on the other. I like to keep my brushes grouped with the with their brand. Um, and I kind of like to keep my 
more of my face brushes towards the center. So like I'll put my Sigma, my Sedona Lace, a lot of my heavier face brushes towards the center and then kind of work my other brushes around on the outer corners just to be safe. And if you're like me, you'll have some that won't fit in here. Like the Real Technique brushes, they kind of flare out at the bottom. Or like double-sided brushes or the Narzita brush. Like they're not going to fit in here. Narzita brush might, but I'm not going to fight with it. So I kind of set those like when I'm done putting all my brushes in on the bottom, I'll put those on top just so they're kind of setting out of the way. It's all together and it's all going to dry together. But we are just going to go ahead and get started. Ah... And my brushes, I already put, I already washed them, and I have my brush protectors on them, but this one fell off. Put that back in. And it's really nice because when you use this, it's going to dry your brushes upside down, so all of the soap and excess water that's sitting in them, it's just going to drip out, and it's not going to sit in the, um, what's it called, in the ferrule, and uh, kind of loosen up the glue. So that's a good thing. Now, let's just get started. So when you're doing this, you want to hold by the handle. You don't want to hold by the top or you're going to mess your bristles up. But I am going to just go ahead and push these in. I don't want to. And you can kind of leave them or you can push them all the way through. I'm going to try just to leave them like that and not push them all the way through. And I just try and keep them in a straight line. And if you are grabbing at the top, like I just told you not to do as I'm doing it, I just kind of firmly grab and I'm not going to be pushing down on my, my uh, bristles. Just kind of so this doesn't slide. Uh-oh. That one. And see if it popped through a little bit. I mean, you can just take this out. It's really not that big of a deal. Just brush it off. You can see where it kind of popped through. But I'm trying not to do that, so. And then on the other side, I'm just going to put uh, my other Sigma brushes. All right, and then I'm just going to find my Sigma tag, and I think that'll look just nice right there. And then just doing a tiny dot of glue and placing that on top. And you can really put your little, if you're going to do labels like I have done, you can put them down however. It doesn't have to be hot glue, but I'm just going to leave them like that. Then moving on, I'm going to be moving on to my Sedona lace brushes. And I'm going to do these on the opposite side just to kind of even everything out. Alright guys, so now I have all of my brushes in here. My fingers kind of hurt. So the next portion of this is to, I mean you can take all these out, but I just washed all of them so they kind of need to dry. I'm just going to kind of wipe this whole side off because y'all can see where y'all, because y'all can see where that's at. Alright, and see I kind of evened it out pretty darn well if I must say so myself. Then I'm just going to kind of fit this cloth over top of it just to give it some pretty decoration. We all make mistakes, people. Okay. So 
So let's try this one again. Just drag it over, make sure all of your corners are evenly going to be tucked away and just start rubbing. So then you just want to kind of pull back on one side and this is where you want to kind of put most of your glue I think. And I'm going to put mine more towards the edge so it pulls down. Check it. All right, guys, so this is the final product, the finished product. You have a nice cup or cup holder. Yeah, a nice cup holder, a nice brush holder. And for your brushes that don't fit in, I just kind of spread them across the top to just even it out. That way it keeps them all on their side. I mean, you could take these and kind of set them up down, set them upside down so the water doesn't sit in the ferrule, but that's up to you. I really don't mind doing them like this. I've done it like this for ever, like, I don't know, since I've been doing it back here, which is like a piece of junk now. I mean, you guys can see how much. I've probably used that for, I would say, a good five years before it fell apart and I needed to make a new one. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do recreate these or make your own or have other ways of making them, please tag me in everything. I love to see what you guys do and have and it just makes my day when I get messages from you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.